Hi, let's see one more area or one more not notification that MCA has given. Now to read this part, I'll first take you to what the law says. So here you can see something called as rule 14, which is uh, placed on the screen. The registers and indices maintained pursuant to section 88, that is, that is register of members and copies of returns pursu prepared pursuant to section 192, that is annual return, shall be open for inspection during business hours at such reasonable time on every working day as a board may decide. By any member, debenture holder, other security holder, or a beneficial owner, the students might be knowing this by the term MDOB that we normally see without payment of fee and by any other purpose on payment of such fees as may be prescribed is what we had written in the notes, correct? Now here, because it is given in more detail, it is just given that it is the, for per inspection will be the amount will be specified in the AOA, but it shall it shall not exceed fifty rupees per inspection. Okay, that just that extra you have to remember. Next that you have said, they have said that for the purpose of this sub rule, a reasonable time of not less than two hours on every working day shall be considered by the company. Then they have said further that if anybody needs a copy, then you know this very well that uh, copies what will be charged is um, uh, the amount that is mentioned in the AOA, but not exceeding ten rupees per page. Okay, that is what we see. And the last line here says that such copy or entries or return as may be supplied within seven days of deposit of such fee. Okay, so it will be given within how many days? Seven days. Now, keeping this understanding in mind, there is a notification that MCA has uh, brought in. So let us just let us read that. Uh, read this C, this one. This is the third part they have got in the same rule, that is rule 14, the rule that we are just reading. And here they have said, not restricting anything contained in sub rules one and two. So whatever we just read, the following particulars of the register or index or return in respect of the members of a company shall not be made available for any inspection under subsection number two or for taking extracts or copies under subsection number three of section 94, namely, okay, 94, as you know, is a place of keeping or inspection of registers, returns, etc. Okay. Now, what they're saying is, in no case will the following details be allowed for inspection, okay? Or you cannot even take copies or extracts of the following details. Now, what are these details they have given here below? Address or registered address in case of body corporate. Second, they are given is email ID, unique identification number, and finally, they are given there something as PAN number. So, you will understand here that these are, maybe they are putting it under the category of personal details. So they are saying that see the address or the ratio address, email ID, unique identification number, PAN number, because these are very personal in nature. So they are saying see these will not be uh, given to any person who is going to come and do the inspection or going to take the extracts or copies. Simple. That is what they have added in relation to this part. Simple. Okay.